You may not remember this about Arminfilia. But prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand, or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street, on her way home after another hard day's work. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe, along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start, but I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. Not too highly, no. She once called me a wine-sodden wharf rat wouldn't have been half as galling had it not been so accurate. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. Hey! Come and see what I found! <laughs> You're not going to believe this! Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. It's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. Yes! Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone, in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts.
preparations for the enchantment are complete. When the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether, the golem should be restored to life. All right then. Whenever you're ready. It's working! Magnus! heap of stone and rubble. This worthless pile of earth? And yet, I can't. I can't. Troubleth thee, child. I shouldn't be here. I don't deserve to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden, helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thank Red most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. He'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. It is my sin alone, and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. Yet I dare not dwell over long on my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. And we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice. And thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. Were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn, yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith, have faith, and all will be well.
not today. To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in Armoreng. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. A wonderful way to pass the time. Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination. So much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for his energies. And I'm not in the habit of pointing him at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of him, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. Much less in possession of his mortal flesh, not even I could have performed such a feat. I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of sacrifices yet unmade. The parting gift of brave heroes who will one day give their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. Well, it seems we are both eager to fulfill our duties, then. On that much, we are in agreement.
Henriange? Thou must needs carry on without me. The path to Nabatha Rang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Salise and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining Light Wardens. Magnus, will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabath Areng, after giving the Yulmorans the slip. If you finished with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble. The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Am Malik. Godspeed! Must be the gate. Well, so far, so good. Jeet! You're a stubborn old swine, aren't you? One who has mastered Gukumots fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the east did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you'd have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. <sighs> you will remain as you are while I dispatch these villains. No, I won't. I won't let you. You forget to whom you speak. Who armed you? Trained you, fought and killed a thousand Sin Eaters with you. And when you were inevitably cut down and lay lifeless in my arms, who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land. <laughs> 
while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. <laughs> I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms! And those mad fools you want me to abandon! The ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived! No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing! They're everything to me! All I have, and all I need, and I would gladly do anything for them! Let us pass, or kill me. I'm not leaving here without them. How dare you! Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, then you shall share their fate. I heard what you said, and I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. You have to go! Now! Sankrit, no! Go! Do what you came here to do! I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. I leave her in your hands. Hurry! Not another step. Your fight is with me. You think yourself a protector? Ha! <laughs> As if a whelp like you could be a better father to her than me.
this is going well. Beast of my blood! Marks of my call!
You would have her suffer and die. I would spare her that fate. That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me. Countless memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. But you had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. For those you could yet save. A world teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. Without hesitation. Your kindness. Your compassion. Your love then and now. One last time, with a little help. I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. Oh, Minfilia. Yeah.